I'm Sherry Stump. Thank you for being with me today. We're reading from the devotional book, God's Amazing Grace by Ellen White. Today's reading is January 12, found on page 20 in the book. And the devotional title is, It's Principle of Government. We begin with the Bible verse found in Romans chapter 7 and verse 12. Wherefore, the law is holy, and the commandment holy and just, and good, Romans 7, 12. The law of God from its very nature is unchangeable. It is a revelation of the will and the character of its author. God is love and his law is love. Its two great principles are love to God and love to man. The character of God is righteousness and truth. Such is the nature of his law. In the beginning, man was created in the image of God. He was in perfect harmony with the nature and the law of God. The principles of righteousness were written upon his heart, but sin alienated him from his maker. He no longer reflected the divine image. His heart was at war with the principles of God's law. But God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that man might be reconciled to God. Through the merits of Christ, he can be restored to harmony with his Maker. His heart must be renewed by divine grace. He must have a new life from above. This change is the new birth. The first step in reconciliation to God is the conviction of sin. By the law is the knowledge of sin, found in Romans 3.20. In order to see his guilt, the sinner must test his character by God's great standard of righteousness. It is a mirror which shows the perfection of a righteous character and enables him to discern the defects of his own. The law reveals to man his sin. It declares that death is the portion of the transgressor. The gospel of Christ alone can free him from the condemnation or the defilement of sin. He must exercise repentance toward God whose law has been transgressed and faith in Christ, his atoning sacrifice. In the new birth, the heart is brought into harmony with God as it is brought into accord with his law. When this mighty change has taken place in the sinner, he has passed from death unto life, from sin unto holiness, from transgression and rebellion to obedience and loyalty. The followers of Christ are to become like him, by the grace of God to form characters in harmony with the principles of his holy law. This is Bible sanctification. I'm so glad you were with me today. It's my prayer that you will experience the transforming power of sanctification in your life today. And please join me tomorrow. We'll read about what should be our most important priorities in life. And that when our priorities are in order, life's difficulties will be powerless. Personally, I want to take all the power away from the difficulties in my life. How about you? Until then, may God bless you abundantly, more than you can ask or think.